Welcome film seekers, on this film explained. We are looking at higher power. It is about an ordinary man faced with the task of saving the world from destruction. At the beginning we see a scientist named Control. He receives an encrypted message. After decrypting, we see only the lips of someone on the monitor, who says that he knows about his work, that is Transfiguration Project. He also knows they turned their back on him, and says he has a plan, to finally see it come to life. Control asks why, he says, he knows for a fact that, it's the only thing powerful enough to stop what's coming. He types asking him what the plan is. And the scene cuts to a show, where an astrophysicist named Michael Swafford is interviewed to discuss about his new book, In the End There Was Light. The host asks him about light he describes as, the brightest and most violent event in our known universe. He explains that it's a gamma ray burst or a GRB, and Michael believes that this gamma ray burst is the last thing that mankind will see before we are blown out of existence. Then explains about the GRB when a high mass star collapses, gravity crushes its core into a black hole. This black hole immediately begins to devour the dying star around it, at a rate of 1 million earth mass per second, and that's far too much energy for the black hole to consume at once, so a majority of that energy is blasted back out into the universe in the form of two narrow beams of intense radiation. And there is a dying star in our own Milky Way galaxy that would cause GRB, and earth is lying directly in the path of the beam zone. We see control typing that they need a subject for the project. They scan the psychological profiles of everyone and find 943 possible candidates. They deploy their team who collect their DNA. Upon analysis, all the test fails except for the 726 subject. That is Joseph Stedman. We see him consumed in sadness, watching video of his past with his pregnant wife and daughter, enjoying at the beach. And Zoe used to collect stones. He keeps one stone in a box. We also see him show Zoe a lighthouse, which blinks in sequence of 1, 4, 3, which stands for I love you. We see he missed those days, and on the other hand, Control is watching him, he knows everything about him, as he has watched him for almost two years, they had set hidden cameras all over the place, and Joseph works as watchman in a company, and visits psychiatrists to treat his depression, suicidal thoughts, and anger control issues. They have kept watch on his daughters too, Zoe, who is 25 now. Control tells us that her mother died and he left his daughters and she haven't forgiven him for it, she is strong, independent and self-sufficient, a direct contrast to her younger sister, Rhea. She started substance abuse at 17, when she decided to follow in her father's footsteps, and Zoe's attempt at reaching out to her have been met with resistance, and lost is the best way to describe her current situation, she is also being used by her boyfriend. Control has also deployed his men to keep watch on all three of them, no matter where they are. We see them watching Zoe with her boyfriend, and her boyfriend is the same guy who was interviewed previously, as they kiss, their books fall, as he picks it. She tells him, when a book falls like that it's a fate page. She and her sister used to play this game, they used to drop the book on purpose, and see what page showed up. Then she tells him to close his eyes, and place his finger randomly on the page. She says it's like a fortune, you can see how it applies to your life. He reads the sentence he placed on, it says during an infection, apoptosis, that means death of a cell in a body, which is normal and occurs in an organism's growth, can serve a protective function by killing off virus contaminated cells before they spill with virus particles. This act of self-sacrifice hampers the spread of infection, and can save the whole organism. He says it's not informative, and she says to look past the words. Maybe you are apoptosis, serving a protective function. This actually applies to him in this movie. You will see why at the end. They leave. And Joseph here gets his one-year chip. He says when his wife was sick, and after she died, he prayed all the time. But there was no voice coming back to me. There were no answers, and he ended up stranding his kids, out at sea. He doesn't blame them for hating him, he hates himself too, but he believes that in their hearts, they still want their dad. We see him watching Zoe, takes the gift, and goes to her, asking we could go to dinner, maybe talk, shows her the gift he got for her. She tells him to try this with Rhea, she needs it, he says he's trying, he can't get through to Rhea, we could do it together, she doesn't care, and as she is about to leave, he keeps his gift inside her handbag, her boyfriend steps in telling he is embarrassing her, so he gets angry, and beats him, Zoe stops him, and they leave. Later Zoe calls Rhea, but she doesn't pick, she gets worried, they used to talk every Sunday for last three months, she is using drugs again, her boyfriend calms her telling she will call later, she gets angry on him, telling him that he doesn't even know her, and why are you here, my dad just punched you in the face, he calms her, telling he's here because he loves her, and unlike her dad, he is not going anywhere. Meanwhile, Joseph too tries to call Rhea, but she still doesn't receive the call. 
he stops his car and remembers his past, happy with his wife and daughters who are grown up. Then his wife got cancer, she tells him to accept it and to be strong for our girls and keep our family together when I'm gone. He promises to do so, but he has failed. He doesn't realize that there is someone in the back seat of his car who makes him unconscious and abduct him, where they implant some device in his eyes and leave him. They are able to communicate with him and wake him up by playing some disturbing sound. Control tells him, when your wife died, you reached out for a god, but no one answered. You wanted someone to tell you what to do. He hears the speech he gave when he got one year chip. He finds it, he opens the case, and finds a gun in it. He has a sharp pain in his eyes. Control tells him, they are transmitting a data burst, through a device we placed on your optic nerve. It allows us to see what you see, and you see what we want you to, in this case his drug addict daughter, Rhea making him realize the consequences of his action and how he influenced her. Revealing he has been watching his family while showing him his past, asks him why he gave up so easily. It's all broken, lost because you weren't strong enough to hold it together, broken promises, broken family, smashed down by your unstable hands, and I can help you find your strength to put those pieces back together. But first you have to answer me, asking if he believes in him. He says yes, asking what he wants. A woman walks in, asking what happened, Control tells him to lift that firearm, and shoot this woman in the head, or I'm gonna put a bullet on your daughter's head, he's got 5 seconds to shoot her, he starts the countdown, and he asks sorry and shoots her just before the time runs out, but finds there is no bullet, he sees his daughter is unharmed, Control tells him that he is his higher power now, then that woman, says we have big plans for you, and zaps him with stunt gun, which makes him unconscious, when he wakes up, he finds himself locked in the trunk of a car, he calls 911, and tell them that he's been kidnapped, but the receiver tells him that they will kill his daughters if he tries to contact the authority. He's frustrated, Control asks, if he understood, he says yes, so they let him out, they kept a bag in his car, saying it has few items that he needs for his next assignment, he asks to show him his daughters, he shows them, he then gets in the car and drives to where he says, he stops at a house, Control tells him to take out the tablet from the bag, and asks if he recognizes this man, he recognizes him, and says it's Charles Margri, president of Redlock, it's where he works, he tells him to wear a mask, we're moving in, he tells him to place the small black box on the security panel, that women we saw before, she hacks it, and unlock the doors, he gets in, nervous of what he's doing, Control tells him to go upstairs to the third floor, Charles is in the room at the end of the hall, and there is also a drone through which he is watching, it can also see through buildings, he reaches the room he said, he then tells him to take the gun from the bag, threaten his life unless he opens his safe, he hesitates, so control shows him video of someone pointing gun to his daughter as she is asleep, he goes in, wakes him up, and take him to his safe, he says as control says, that is to take the laptop from the safe, and authorize it, then tells Joseph to put his finger on the scanner, it shows that the sequence is compatible, Charles is shocked to see it, Control tells him to take the small metallic LED device from his backpack and place it on the laptop, through which Sabi copies all the data from that laptop which had all the works of control. He says Joseph to tell him to get on his knees, he says no, and starts arguing, and is hit by Charles, which causes them to lose connection to his optic device, they soon establish the link back. On the other hand, Charles takes the gun, and Joseph tells him that he works in the facility, he tells him that there is a man, and he's in my head, and he's talking to me. He checks his eyes, and realizes that Control is behind all this, and tells him that he shut down the project for a reason, it is too dangerous, Control tells Joseph to walk forward, or he will kill you, and tell him he is right, so he walks forward slowly, and tells he is right, it is too dangerous, as he reaches the window, he gets shot by the drone, then tells him to take out the clippers, and cut Charles' thumb, he then heads to the research laboratory Redlock, meanwhile, Sabi uses the drone to send mini drones through the air vent, which latch on to where they had planned. He is told to wear the equalizing mask from the bag, as he puts it on. The mini drones release a gas which suffocates, and kills everyone in the building. Control explains, it's called B-19, a classified, undetectable chemical weapon, that immediately bonds with air particles, on a subatomic level creating a controlled seismic vacuum, their deaths were necessary. Hers, on the other hand can be spared, that's if you make it to the main facility in 4 minutes, he goes there as fast as possible, on the way, he is terrified to see everyone dead, and Control tells him their lives mean nothing in comparison to the bigger picture, then tells to take off the mask, gas has dissipated, then tells to take the LED device and snap it in, and uses the thumb of Charles, which grants them access to the core, then tells him, inside there is a throw switch, just switch it on, and your daughter lives, 
As he gets inside, the door is locked. He asks to open the door, but gets no response. Control turns on the machine, which generates dangerous electromagnetic waves. He gets affected by it, and asks why he is doing this to him. Control tells him, that's the way the numbers line up. It's in your DNA. We see his body getting affected in the subatomic level. He was chosen because he was the only one who could survive this experiment. His body appears to absorb the electromagnetic waves and the DNA completely changed. It finally ends with a huge blast, and leave the whole facility destroyed. This was the reason Control and his team was not allowed to conduct the experiment, as he had proposed to use this to let a man absorb the electromagnetic waves, and save the Earth from GRB. But because of the high risk, it was not approved, but with the help of some unknown person, he was able to conduct the program. That guy asks if it was successful, and Control says yes. Because of this blast, the police and news reporters gather there, and the news gets broadcasted. Zoe and Michael see the news in TV, and she breaks down, and regrets not talking to him properly. Meanwhile, Joseph finds himself in his own house. After some struggle, he manages to come out of the bag, then starts to yell at Control. He explains, there are four fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force. In that anger, his body starts releasing that energy in him, he's confused what is happening to him, and breaks the wall. Control tells him I have blessed you, by taking your greatest weakness, and turning it into a strength. The anger, fear, anxiety, that chaos living inside you, that tore your life apart, I've harnessed it into a source of infinite power. And now I need you to use that power, to keep your family together. You were always meant for more, but first you need to pass my tests designed specifically to unlock your greatest potential. He then tells him to get up and move to next location. His car is not there, so Control taunts him telling you think your wife is watching you from heaven. There is no heaven, and your wife is dead. It angers him again, and the electromagnetic waves released through him starts the bike near him. Control explaining him, the angrier he gets, the more he unlock, cause and effect then tells him to get on the bike, on the way. Control tells him once he gets there, he has to confront the man named Nico, the man who took your daughter, Rhea, under his wing after you left. The same man got her hooked, and kept her, that way. Meanwhile, Zoe finally opens the box and finds a stone, which she gave to him when they were at the beach, and gets emotional. Joseph reaches that place, and gets inside. The place was dark, and had girls. When he finds Nico, Nico astray him, and hits him, making him unconscious. When he wakes up, he is tied up, he asks his name, as he recognizes he is Rhea's father, he purposefully shows him the sex tape of Rhea that he made, seeing which makes him angry, and the power within him to come out, causes a blast, and his body becomes visible from outside for a while, then shrink and get back to normal, and he isn't able to unlock his full power, requiring more stress level to unlock his full power, he is in the same place, Nico stabs him, but instead the knife gets super hot, then starts to shoot him but it only causes holes in him, so he runs off, Joseph helps the girl to get out, Nico heads to hit him, Joseph shoots him, but misses, since he doesn't use his power, Control shows him a footage from that sex tape in his head, which again makes him angry, and releases so much energy that it kills and throws off the car, he is confused how he is doing this, but Control gets disappointed, telling him he failed to unlock his full power, once again, the police are on their way, turn yourself in, they catch him, and interrogate, and asks Redlock was annihilated, and this blast, you were in both of them, are you terrorist, whom do you work, as Control says him to say, he tells them that he works for higher power, he tells them there is a bomb at the shipyard, they leave to find the bomb, then Control tells him, if he finds the bomb, everybody lives, but if they find it before you, I would estimate 20,000 death, in the effort to free himself, he ends up blowing the police station, and fall down, unluckily the transformation fails again, when a policeman reaches him, he sends him flying off in the air, then gets in a car and goes to the shipyard, the news is broadcasted that there is a third blast at police station, the police is in hot pursuit of a man whose name is Joseph Stedman, who was thought to have been actually killed at the blast at Redlock last night, Zoe and Michael is shocked to see this, thinking it's impossible, meanwhile, Control gives him a clue, the bomb is in a shipping crate, with the police keep chasing him he gets frustrated and his energy gets out. He destroys his car, then flies towards the shipyard, and leave the police confused, what just happened. And it's also shown in live news, describing as some sort of light blast going on from the vehicle. As he goes he destroys everything in the path. The news says it as a contrail of energies, are slicing through the centers of towns and homes. Then the light goes off, and they get kidnapped by Control's men. Meanwhile, the police close the nearby roads, and search for the bomb. He reaches there, and takes the containers and bomb up in the air, 
his body was completely transformed and appeared as electromagnetic energy. When it's in air, the bomb blasts, and some chunk hits a plane. He manages to stop the plane from crashing using his electromagnetic powers, then manages to pass the train from the bridge that broke due to containers, place the plane on a building, then goes to Zoe's house but doesn't find her there. Control shows that he kidnapped his daughter, he uses his power to track from where the live footage is coming. Control knows he was able to track the location, so he tells him to get there and save her, he tells him that you don't control me anymore, and gets there, he puts her daughter and Michael in a bubble, and creates a blast, destroying the whole place, and everyone in there, then meets his daughter, who hugs her, asking what's going on, what happened to you, he tells her not to worry, let's get your sister, we will go home now. We are now shown that the guy who helped control to complete this program was, Michael, and being with Zoe was all a plan. The gamma rays are getting close to Earth, the satellite detect it, and control tells Michael to shoot her, he shoots her, and just surrenders himself, and he is instantly killed by Joseph, then seeing his daughter dying, instead of getting angry, he tells her, he will make everything right, he still didn't unlock his full power. So control shows him the footage of his another daughter Rhea, being shot, and that makes him so angry that he screams loudly with pain, that all that electromagnetic energy around him, starts to spread and cover the whole earth, he gets so huge that he appears above earth. As a god, he is now able to see, hear, and know every life and everything on earth. Control tells him, I know you can hear me, you can hear everything, see everything, I've given you omnipotence, through you I've created a god. But Joseph is so angry that he kills Control too. Here we understand the meaning of that fate of Michael we saw in the library. The way a cell sacrifices itself to kill a virus, here Michael, Control, Sabi sacrifice themselves to create a god who can save the earth, Gamma Rays reach the earth, and he consumes it into himself, and saves the earth, then revives both of his daughters, they reunite, with their father now being everywhere, and the movie ends. Hope you all liked the movie, and please consider subscribing if you want to see more explanations.